What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Skip to Loafer, this time with episode 7. Uh, nearing the end of the series now, which is uh, really bad. Hopefully um, hopefully we get a uh, season 2 or something announced, I'm not sure about the source material. I think there is a kind of manga, um, might be a novel again, I'm not, not really clued up on that. But hopefully there's enough material for a second season. I was, I've been really loving this show so far. Uh, last episode was another brilliant one. It was a cold, uh, colder type episode, um, especially towards the start, but uh, really, uh, really got... Ibakura and Shima really got to know each other even better and understand each other and the circumstances even better at the end of last episode so I think from here on things uh, and their relationship will again be even better and uh, even more kind of um, open to each other <laughs> not to other people um, open to each other uh, more than ever um, again following on from the cutesy kind of love talk we had at the intro uh, that really kind of came around towards the end of the episode as well didn't it but Again, was a brilliant episode. Uh, do let me know what you guys think of this one, though, down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys liked, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. And let's get right into it, guys. And it's kind of flown by, hasn't it? Only having, what, five, four episodes left. Again, I hope there's, uh, I hope there's enough material for a uh, season two. Oh, good job. <laughs> so she's actually a part of it now. I guess all that kind of work around it and helping them out from the outside actually uh, came around then. Could have easily again just kind of given up and just said, uh, well, I guess I can't join the can't join the student council, but it kind of looks like it's paid off, which is good. Things are going really well right now. Again, definitely a def <laughs> totally different tone than the start of last episode. Like I said, it was quite cold and uh, it didn't seem like things were going that well. Quickly, how uh, shows how quickly things can turn around with your emotions, though, doesn't it? And if you just stick to being yourself and, and try hard, it pays off. Do, 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 my bush, good there. But yeah, you guys will. Uh, if you guys have read the source material, you'll have to let me know if there is enough to uh, to continue. Recently, more than ever, I think it's been the case. Um, that a lot of adaptations are just kind of almost like the full source material. Like they're released like three, four volumes, and then adapt that all, and then uh, there's again like no more. To continue from and that's been increasingly more the case as of late so i wouldn't be surprised if uh, that's the case here as well unfortunately of course she was That was short and sweet.
You know, could be true. Crap. <laughs> that was quite the reaction. This guy is quite... He pop up, so pops up a lot of places, doesn't he? Considering he's not like in our classes or anything. I mean, same goes for Takamine and that, but... She's part of the student council, so... A day in June. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what day. Quite like that, honestly. Oh, one more person. Kazo what? Oh. People are famous. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably as well. That's quite rough, isn't it? Well, oh, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Iwakura's face right there. True, it's, that's true, but again, it's just that an out, all of the votes come from an outside perspective. It doesn't matter whose opinion is more important, they're all worth the same. Or whose or who's opinion you think more important. So, yeah, she lost. As uh, as the whitehead guy said, yes, in a in a vice secretary role, there might even be more to do. So that's sad. <laughs> wow, whole year's worth of writing there. I mean, pretty impressive. She's going to actually get that to him. Himbo. <laughs> I swear that's I've only ever heard that where did I is it this show I've heard that word in himbo? I think so. I think that's the, this is the only place I've ever heard that. It's quite sad to hear honestly though, isn't it, that he's not really you know Takamino would be a Quite a bit more committed. That is scary, isn't it? Got hope, got pray all that work pays off. No proof of it actually doing so. But on the other side of things, you could say that she's kind of living proof of that paying off, to be honest with you, just the, the way both these girls are. I feel like the payoff is the person they are. If that makes any sense.
Also not for both of you. <laughs> oh yeah, we know this. Oh, he's, he's locked the door. <laughs> we know this guy's fucking. Oh, he's looking for from Shima. Charlie Horse. Sound like a horror movie to start off with. Dun dun dun. All by the same person. And apologies, guys. I, uh, I'm leaking. <laughs> I think my uh, hay fever is playing up a little bit. That's him as a kid. Yeah, you should. Young. I bring this point up a lot. I'm going to pause it for a second, hopefully. Yeah, it does, it does the it does the thing where it where it load um, so about ten minutes in. But um, yeah, honestly, you should. Uh, as we see with this, a lot of child actors are. Pretty terrible again. I remember when I was growing up. So it's a really interesting point, though. So again, something that uh, Oshinoko is talking about this season, and this show's talked about it a little bit as well with uh, Shima. Um, again, you should appreciate young child actors because nowadays they're they're getting really good. Again, back when um, I was kind of growing up and movies I'd see, they'd they'd usually be quite annoying and terrible and just not good actors because obviously they're children. They don't they don't really have any consciousness of themselves, let alone trying to put themselves in a kind of another person's shoes. For a lot of them, anyway. Again, don't get me wrong. There were some uh, some massive ones. Uh, I forget what Cor Corey Feldman, I think his name is from um from terminator um he's a really good example like with macaulay culkin as well i think i think they were both actually kind of still working in the industry but they both had they're both really good child actors but the issue with that is they had big problems when they actually became an adult when they started to become an adult because they had to pretty much become an adult as a kid to be honest um so again i, I find that point really interesting but again you should always appreciate them and and never kind of send any hate or kind of do anything like that to these children because again it does they're going through development if you know what i'm saying it messes them up i mean being in the industry itself anyway just kind of messes them up let alone again getting outside kind of hate and and uh, people's opinions on you and such but again that's a that's a big massive point there again a couple shows are covering the season which again i've always been very interested in so um yeah i think uh, i think a lot of children are like uh, like mr gray hair here <laughs> not so good at acting but I appreciate the fact that he's created this all by himself. A whole movie, him acting, starring, writing. Takes a lot of talent in itself. But again, that's maybe why I'm quite interested in uh, Shima as a character. Looking like he loves it. So this is a kaiju movie here. Star Wow. <laughs> really, <laughs> he left this in. I want to see the monsters. I want to see the kaiju's, bro. <laughs> Peace. Now that lifted some spirits up a little bit. I think humble beginnings.
Mag what? Indulges. <laughs> I mean, this is quite a weird thing to do anyway. But, um... Ah. This is just how she does things though, isn't it? Little notebook. That was really cute. There's one of them. Smile a bit more. <laughs> I didn't I didn't get everything there but I do love Takamine, she is great, isn't she? Like I said, definitely a, a, a different type of person. A more of an intellectual, like I said, she uh, writes down everything and that revises everything and she's so on time and that got so many points she wants to hit but I love the I love seeing her kind of break out of that a little bit if you know what I'm saying I mean again I really like that about her but um, like we saw there I kind of like the changes as well I've always I've always thought I was quite weird for this, but do other people just kind of eat? I mean, it's not like I just pick up a tomato and eat it, <laughs> but do other people just like eat a tomato as it is? I know a lot of people like tomato sauce. I, funnily enough, I don't like tomato sauce, but I do I do again just like eating a tomato. And I've never seen anyone else really do that, so I've always seen it as a little bit weird. But. <laughs> Here we go. Oh god. Understandable she's uh, a bit wary. But she shouldn't be, should she? We you know Shima's a nice guy. Oh. Sorry guys, again I'm just leaking quite a bit today. Good on you, Shima. Good on you. Now, don't forget to see the animals while you're there. Yeah, I, I imagine that probably will be the case. <clears throat> Man, I've been to a zoo in ages. Like I like said earlier, I guess he's famous. In a high school way. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? He sounds like the same fucking guy from Sangats in a Lion with a moustache. I mean, he's even wearing the moustache. A <laughs> hundred percent guarantee you'll never be just friends. Sure does. <laughs> and I'll let everyone know about it. Of course. We'll take anyone. We'll take any of the girls. Just stuff.
Ah, oh, I don't think it was dumb luck. Understandable, but again, I don't think it was dumb luck. Nothing done, nothing back, nothing, nothing lucky about it, really, was there? I guess you could say their meeting was luck, but... We've got to have one now. Yeah, they are very different people, all these girls, aren't they? They're all very different. Again, could you say that about Shima, though? I feel like you could have been friends with him, even if you weren't in the same class. Just again, by the, the one bit whoop, that was luck, by the way they met. That was the only luck in it. Oh, okay. God. Bad timing right here. <laughs> that didn't exactly come out how we wanted it to. I guess this was the actual subconscious of what she really wanted, though, if you know what I'm saying. Her head was trying to say one thing. Oh, yeah, bad timing for the red haired girl right here. <laughs> I've never heard of that type of aura before. Heard of uh, ten, nen, and all the other bloody ones, but okay. This is really cute, but a little bit sad, honestly, isn't it? The red haired girl. Oh, she got says, huh? I think she's thinking a bit more than huh, if you know what I'm saying. Who's that? Who is that? That is sister? It looks a little, Does it look a little bit like him? Can't tell me that's like his girlfriend or something. Rerika. But who is this girl? Funny how we're now kind of in the same boat right here. <laughs> What's going on there? That was crap. On the cover of a magazine. <laughs> 
This who is this bitch? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, and I kind of feel like that might be his sister. Not even that ass cars. Um, interesting. I don't really like her. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't don't really like that introduction. Doesn't seem very nice, does she? Again, as we've seen with a few characters in this show, though, there's probably a lot more to it, isn't there? I mean, the average the average quote from her was understandable. It is an average classroom. It's a normal classroom. Average using that word is quite weird. Just why do you not say normal? Um, that was one kind of red flag <laughs> a little bit. Um, yeah, she uh, I don't know, she just seems slightly rude. But like I said, um, probably a lot more to it, and probably going to end up liking her. I imagine, perhaps. Um, yeah, quite funny how. The red-haired girl and the Iwakura almost in the like, kind of same boat now, aren't they? Another new girl entered the fray. Although Iwakura is kind of just again how she is. So I don't think she. I don't think that was like her first thought or anything, was it? She didn't even really kind of even fully comprehend the situation <laughs> until she saw the magazine. But, um, interesting, interesting. I think, like like I was talking about with the child actors, maybe, um, maybe again, it's a kind of obviously famous or something. She's on the cover of a bloody magazine, so it might be again in in relation a little bit to what I was talking about when I paused it about child actors. It might be, uh, might be her kind of being overly pampered, at the overly kind of center of attention, and, and uh, again, that might kind of lead to people being a little bit more um, kind of stuck up, perhaps, and uh, and again using language like average for, like i said I, I feel like that was just a weird way to describe a normal classroom and anyone else would kind of just say oh that's just a normal classroom not not oh, this is average um but again i might i might be kind of nitpicking there but like i said didn't leave the best first impression on me as a, as a person um yeah <laughs> and uh, obviously this here is a bit of a threat if you know what i'm saying i think it's that kind of sense it, when someone like, enters a room and you have like a threat detector going off i uh, feel like she could be um Again, she could be a threat. She could be like a, a girlfriend of Shima. That would be a, a nightmare, wouldn't it? Um, could be girlfriend. Could be a sister. Again, I, I think they slightly look alike. Obviously, they've got very different coloured hair. Um, and we know Shima's home situation is quite complex. So, um, who knows? She goes to a completely different school. So, yeah, there's not really much uh, much in the way of that. Um, but yeah, very interested to see where that leads to. Uh, really nice episode though today, wasn't it? I really love that first half with uh, Takamine and her kind of acceptance of being the vice president. Um, really, uh, again, some really cute moments in there with her, um, and especially the uh, the silver haired guy. Again, I forget his name, but I love seeing the little bit of his movie. Um, again, brings up some interesting points, doesn't he? And I like him popping up every now and then again, even though he's not even really kind of not part of the student council, he's not part of our class. He just again, he's just popping up here and there. Um, but yeah, some uh, some quite cute moments in the second half. Um, Again, feel a bit sad for the redhead girl. Um, not sure what she feels about this whole situation, but um, yeah, obviously, again, feel a bit sad for her just waiting outside the classroom while we had that really uh, quite wholesome conversation going on. But um, again, it got kind of rudely, ab abruptly uh, interrupted, unfortunately. Um, quite the strange meeting as well, wasn't it? <laughs> Irakura, of course, being a nice, normal self, but um, just uh, just what the uh, the redhead girl said about, oh, I, I think I'm tr I think I'm starting to get this or something along those lines. It's like, what, what, what are you starting to get? Are you starting to understand that this is Shima's like, good friend or potential love interest or, or what? Um, or maybe the reason as to why he's maybe changed slightly recently? Again, I'm yeah, I've got no idea. Looking forward to find out though. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this episode there down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys liked and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions. I'll be back next week with episode 8, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully you join me then. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys.